मन की बात माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी भारत की जनता से साझा करेंगे अपने मन की बात रविवार 28 मार्च सुबह 11 बजे आकाशवाणी के सभी केंद्र सभी चैनल इसे प्रसारित करेंगे एक साथ साथ ही इसका प्रसारण दूरदर्शन के नेशनल न्यूज डीडी भारती डीडी इंडिया डीडी उर्दू और डीडी किसान चैनल पर भी किया जाएगा तो याद रखे रविवार अट्ठाईस मार्च सुबह ग्यारह बजे मन की बात Good evening and welcome to the news. First, the headlines. Active COVID cases in the country stands at over 3 lakhs. State awaits not from Election Commission of India for bipolar in Maurankineng and Rajabala. FKJP unit claims that entry checkpoint at Umling acts as a COVID-19 testing center. And Woodland Nursing Institute marks World TV Day to spread awareness about the disease. The news in detail. The Health Ministry said a total of 5 crore 8 lakh 41,286 vaccine doses have been administered till now. 47,262 new COVID-19 cases have been reported in the country in the last 24 hours. With this, the total number have reached to 1 crore 17 lakh 34,058 with 275 deaths reported during the last 24 hours, the death toll reached 1,60,441. Active cases in the country stands at 3,68,457. Meanwhile, in the state, there are 22 active cases with 149 people succumbing to the disease. With COVID-19 protocols in place, the Election Commission of India is creating a total of 17 auxiliary polling stations for the bipol to the vacant seats of Maurinkaneng and Rajabala constituencies. Chief Electoral Officer F.R. Kakumar said, as per the new COVID-19 protocol, it calls for the number of electors to be restricted to 1,000 for each polling station. Therefore, in the polling stations where electorate exceed 1,000, auxiliary polling stations will have to be provided. The State Election Department has made all necessary arrangements for the upcoming vacant Maurinkaneng and Rajabala seats and is now awaiting the announcement of the poll schedule by the Election Commission of India. Review meetings were held with the DC and SP of West Garo Hills through video conferencing about the preparedness. COVID-19 protocol, uh, it calls for the number of polling, uh, I mean number of these electors to be restricted to within 1,000 and they should not exceed 1,000. So in those polling stations where the polling station is nearing 1,000, which is in excess of 1,000, uh, what we are doing is that uh, we, are seeking, uh, the, we, are, we are seeking for the approval of the, of the ECI to create auxiliary polling stations. So accordingly that exercise has already been undertaken. And uh, in Maurinkaneng, we have six new auxiliary polling stations. In those polling stations which have exceeded 1,000 and beyond. And in Tura, we have got approval of the ECI for creation of 11 auxiliary polling stations. So this is in, uh, in conformity and consistent with the uh, ECI's COVID-19 protocols. The Federation of Khasi Jainti and Garo people threatened to erect their own influx check gate at Umling to tackle unabated influx if the government fails to tackle influx of illegal immigrants into the state of Meghalaya. An inspection was conducted by the Umling, or rather the Lumlan Maunai Vice President of the FKJGP unit along with other members of the organization to the entry checkpoint at Umling, Ribhoi district. They alleged that the check gate has been operating as the COVID-19 testing center instead of checking of illegal influx to the state. Lumlang Maunai said that the government has failed to prevent illegal influx in the state. 
nakaliang ng matang mata kapag naday siya kataka entry nane ka exit point kapag ibu o hine na mentaban kitray kam hop siya yaya kataka kam kapag ibreo gimana bar kila bandrungsuk hagne ka jaka jungi nray kat kajilap jungo seng mata kila ba wat hado kilebar di panmenro kam semdon hagne ngi i bagi lebar ro ki ki entry ar kum kum ka jongga tourism kum bagi lek turis nrei kat ka jinglap jongga seng pat matang i bagi bon ki lebar hi ki balek ban trei ban kata sapo megalia along with the rest of the world woodland nursing institute like cor today observed world tb day as its at its institute in collaboration with national tuberculosis elimination program east kasi hills Every year, World Tuberculosis Day is commemorated on March 24th with this year's theme, The Clock is Ticking, to raise awareness about the devastating health, social and economic consequences of tuberculosis and to step up efforts to end the global tuberculosis end epidemic. Talking to DD News, Meghalaya, Dr. Jenny Karwanlan, District Tuberculosis Officer, East Kasi Hills, said, each day nearly 4,000 lose their lives to TB and close to 28,000 people fall ill with this preventable and curable disease. Global efforts to combat TB have saved an estimated 63 million lives since the year 2000. So today we are um, commemorating the World TB Day, that is 24th of March every year. On this day, we have programs and all so that to inform to the people that TB is a curable disease and that people should come forward to go for treatment. The theme of the World TB Day is the clock is ticking. That means time is running out for us that we should search all the TB patients to come for treatment because treatment is available at all health centers of the government and it is free of diagnostic procedures and free of treatment. The Sun Rifle celebrated its 186th raising day today under the leadership of Lieutenant General Sukhdeep Sangwan, AVSM SM, Director General of Sun Rifles. A cultural program was organized on the occasion to mark the 186th raising day at headquarters of Director General of Sun Rifles at Rai Auditorium, Light Corps, where the Honorable Governor of Arunachal Pradesh, Brigadier Dr. B.D. Mishra, retired, graced the event as the chief guest. Extending his best wishes to all ranks of the force and their families, Honorable Governor also complimented officers and troops for their indomitable spirit with which they continue to discharge their duties with courage, dedication and devotion. Government has said it will not be possible to extend postal ballot facilities to overseas electors in the upcoming assembly elections. In a written reply in Lok Sabha, Union Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said that the matter is still under discussions with the External Affairs Ministry to iron out the logistical challenges involved in the implementation of the proposal. The Election Commission has taken up the proposal to amend the conduct of election rules to facilitate electronically transmitted postal ballot system for overseas electors. And a quick look at the weather now. The maximum temperature recorded was 14.1, rather 25.5 degrees Celsius. The minimum was 14.1 degrees Celsius. Relative humidity in the morning was 53%, while that in the evening fell to 37%. The forecast, weather is likely to remain dry. Our news bulletins are also available live on our YouTube channel. In addition to watching on television, viewers may visit the DD News Shillong YouTube channel to tune in to our daily bulletin. And another look at the headlines before we wind up. Active COVID cases in the country stands at over 3 lakhs. State awaits nod from Election Commission of India for bipole in Maurin Kaneng and Rajabala. FKJP unit claims that entry checkpoint at Umling acts as a COVID-19 testing center. And Woodland 
Nursing Institute marks World TV Day to spread awareness about the disease. Well, viewers, that's all we have in this edition of the Bulletin. Join us again tomorrow evening for more news and updates.